Hey everybody, Kent here. Today I'm talking about niche market research. In some of my other videos we've gone through how to find keywords, how to find hot niches, some ideas on how to do some brainstorming for those niches. Today I'm going to dive a little deeper into how to figure out what it is your niche needs. Some of the questions I've seen have to do with do I start with a product, do I start with keywords. This is the definite method that I recommend. First start with a niche and then kind of dive a little deeper into find what their needs are. Buyers with needs become sales. That's bottom line. First, you find a niche with buyers. There are niches that don't have any buyers. Those are probably ones you don't want. If it has something to do with open source software, they're probably not going to buy as much because the open source software is free. You want one that actually has something that ultimately people will be buying. If I'm a outdoorsman, trekker, hiker, you know, I'm going to be buying backpacks. I'm going to be buying trekking poles, maybe a GPS, tents, those kinds of things. That is a niche with buyers. We also need to make sure your buyers have money. Again, with that example, if I'm an outdoorsman backpacker, you know I'm going to have some money because it's a fairly expensive hobby, at least to get going. Once you're going, it, of course, it doesn't cost as much, but some of that stuff is pretty pricey. So those buyers do have money. If I'm marketing to Webkins, however, the parents of those buyers have money, but the kids may not as, as themselves, so you have to be careful with some of the niches. There may be a niche that has buyers, but the buyers may not have any money, so you have to be a little bit more careful about who you're going to target. And then um, the last thing is you need to make sure your buyers have needs that need to be filled. Almost every niche does. You just the, Your trick is to find what that need is. Now, if you haven't been there before, I have more ideas on getting started with niches at nichetrends.net. Today we're going to talk a little bit about finding those buyers' needs and how you can go about doing it. You can always start with your own experience. Uh, the example that I like to use a lot is uh, geocaching. It's a hobby. If you haven't heard of it, it's a hobby that's available out online. It involves a GPS and some other stuff. That was something that I did with my family. I developed my own set of needs. I knew what I needed because I had done the hobby before. So that would be a good one for me to go into because I have the experience. I know what the questions people have. I could I could easily tailor my marketing to that to that niche and the needs of that niche. If you have some experience in anything, be it a hobby, be it work, anything at all, that's probably your best place to start. You've probably heard it before, but the reason is you understand what those buyers need. The other thing you could do is talk to others and, and kind of leverage their experiences as well. The third way, and what I'm going to talk about in this video, is market research. You can do much of that online. I start with forums. Almost every niche has a forum. There's thousands of forums out online. You could start with Google. Just search for your niche space forum. Simple as that. You're going to find some. And if you don't, on the specific niche, you back up a layer. Let's say I'm talking about dressage is the one that I, I heard the other day in a video. Um, that's real specific type of horse something or other. You, I don't even know the details. But you might have to go up one layer and look at horses in, in general instead of some, the real specific niche. You can also find blogs if you frequent some blogs about the niche or go look for blogs about the niche oftentimes you can find that the authors of the blogs refer to forums that they're they're members of and maybe even have links to those forums those would be popular ones because you're finding people that actually use them and then the other thing is uh, forum directories there are directories out online that list forums that are available what we're going to cover today is bigboards.com that is a forum directory that's available. It has over 2,100 active forums listed on many, many, many topics. And uh, one of the cool things about it is it shows you specifics of the how many members are on the forum, how many posts are on the forum, so you can get some ideas on which ones really have some value, which ones don't. So let's flip over there real quick. This is bigdashboards.com. And you'll notice right off the bat it starts off with the uh, sorted by number of posts, all the boards sorted by number of posts, and I've, I just immediately saw this Gaia online, it's an anime role playing community that has 1.3 billion posts. That's a B billion, uh, 1.25 million members on the on the forum. I didn't even know that this existed before, so here's a here's a niche right off the bat that is huge. Now I did dig into this a little bit ago because I didn't know what it was, and it looks like it's teenagers or younger that are doing this so you know the question comes up do they have money I don't know that might take a little bit more uh, digging to figure it out so one of the things I'm gonna do right off the bat is change this filter to English because um, I speak English I don't know other languages so uh, we're gonna kinda of target that and uh, scrolling through here I'm just kinda of doing this randomly 
looking for one that I might know something about. I mean, there's uh, Honda cars. I don't know much about Honda cars, uh, Corvettes, Rooster Teeth. I don't even know what that is. How about bodybuilding.com? Bodybuilding and fitness related forums. Uh, I'm not a bodybuilder. I have done it in the past. I know at least something about that. So that, again, the more familiar you are with the topic, the easier this research is going to be. But it's not absolutely necessary. You can do it with do it without that. But you're just going to look over my shoulder kind of as I go through this and show what I look for. Um, the first thing is this column of threads and posts over on the right hand side. If there are a lot of threads in a particular t uh, section of the forum, that's a good one to start in. Um, and usually if there's a Q&A or something like that, that's also a great one to start in because if people have a need, they're going to ask questions about it. Um, I see the supplements has 278,000 threads uh, with almost 4 million posts. Teen Bodybuilding has uh, 211,000 thread. Nutrition has 119,000. And then Miscellaneous, that doesn't really mean much to me. So um, well, let's go look at the supplements and see what it looks like. So in the supplements section, um, there's some stickies at the top. We'll skip those and just go down to the actual threads. And here we go. Here's one. Do Gaspari, BSN, etc. let you down because? So someone is asking, I don't know what these products are, but uh, Gaspari, BSN, they're asking the question, does it let them down? Maybe it has let somebody down. So that might be a way to go find out what their problems people are having with those particular products. Are there affiliate programs available? Might be some way, an, an in to selling those products. 120, 29 posts and 1,700 views. Um, here's a huge one down here. New Aero Ergo Farm 1 ad. Ergo Farm sounds like a product. Just looking at it, I don't know anything about it, but uh, let's, look, let's just go into the, the post and look at it. I saw something from the Arnold that said that Ergo Farm was going to be coming out with a new one ad that would produce some gains as the original. I don't know what that means. They're excited about it. Hey, there's boof. There's a product. If, if there's an affiliate program for it, it might be something worthwhile. If there's not an affiliate program for that, maybe there's a, a competitor that you can you can go find their negatives, talk about their negatives, and then push them onto a competitor. Right below that, 175, 4900, best natural test booster stacks. That could be a title of an article right there, best natural natural test booster stacks. You could certainly dig through the five plus pages, I don't know how many pages there are, of posts, learn all you need to know about best natural test booster stacks, and start selling to these folks. Page two. RPN Havoc, IBP... Epistain for the newbies. Newbies need help with IB, IBE Epistain and RPN Havoc. This is where you find the help. Well, what if you found it on your website so that when somebody was doing a Google search, they would find that, and then you had links over to the product? Um, real simple. I mean, it's, this is not rocket science here. Uh, of course, I would go through those five-plus pages to find out what it is that they're looking for, what the answers are, and then write something accordingly that answered their questions. Comprehensive pro hormone user guide. People that are using pro hormones for the first time apparently need a user guide. It gets it gets ton of views, ton of responses. I bet you can take some information out of this and do something with it. What is pro hormone? I don't know. I would that's the research. I would be writing these things down and continue my research from there. So let's assume that my niche that I chose was bodybuilding nutrition. I come over here and look around. I find uh, a whole bunch of these kinds of things. I would start answering some of these questions or putting out the ones that, that seem appropriate, find some products, and, uh, and then go from there. So that, that's basically how I do it. Not going to go any further with actually building anything because I don't have a bodybuilding website. But the key, find your, your buyer's needs. You can do it out on these forum directories online. That's a great place to start. Figure out how to tailor your solution to their needs. Again, that pro, uh, pro hormone, why is yours better than pro hormone? So show your solution. And then the sales are just naturally going to follow behind that. So follow this formula. Watch my other videos if you haven't already. I have, I have other videos on finding hungry buyers, finding niches, building websites. Um, you can find those out on on YouTube with this one. Also, be sure to visit nichetrends.net. 